The last thing we need to do is make the fold-out pages and the pages attached to them slightly smaller. Our goal is to make these pages end up being slightly smaller than the rest of the book so that the fold-out panels do not get trimmed off when we three-side trim the book. Use the Edit Page Size option via the Pages panel to make this adjustment. Do not use the File Document Setup dialog box to make the change as it will impact the entire document. And so if we make the pages 8, 9, 10, and 11, sorry, 9, 10, 11, and 12 in this example, if we were to make them a quarter inch skinnier than the rest of the pages, but we do that via File Document Setup, we would actually be changing every single page in the entire document. When you're ready to change the size of a page and not all pages in the document, you can use the Edit Page Size option at the bottom of your Pages panel. It looks like a little piece of paper that's in both landscape and portrait orientation. The steps that you'll need to follow are to choose the page, pages, or spreads you wish to affect. In my example here, I have pages 9 and 10 selected. Then you can choose the Edit Page Size option at the bottom of the Pages panel. If the option that you need is not available, you can hit custom at the bottom and you can create your own custom preset. So for our example, since our book is eight and a half by 11, I'm going to make it a quarter inch smaller and make it eight and a quarter by 11. It's not an option on my flyout menu. And so I'm going to create an option that says eight and a quarter by 11 and change the width and the height to also be eight and a quarter. When you're done and you save it, it'll become one of your presets. And the next time you try to change a page, for example, if we try to change pages 11 and 12, it would be an option on our preset. Then you can repeat that for all the pages affected by foldouts. Always keep in mind that every panel in a book or a brochure or whatever you're creating always has a front and a back. And so if you change the width of one page, a question that you should think of is, where is the other page that also I have to change the size of? Because I'm going to change the size of pages 9 and 10 in my example, I will also have to change the size of whatever pages back that up. It's kind of hard to figure that out by looking at InDesign, it kind of hurts your head a little bit. But if you have a physical dummy, you can always see what page is on the back side of, of page 9 or page 37 or whatever the page is. And in our case, on the back of 9 and 10 will be 11 and 12.